Hello, I'm Avery. This is Online Income Network. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about video chapters in your YouTube videos. I'm going to talk about what they are and how you can make them in your videos. So the first thing is, what are they? They're basically timestamps, an advancement of them because now you'll be able to visually see them on the progress bar. YouTube's new feature will take the progress bar and then break it up into segments and also have a title over those segments that will make it easier for people to come to your video. If they're trying to find something specific on your video, they'll be able to visually see that. So basically, like I said, it's still timestamps. It's just an advancement on timestamps because you know, not that many people really go to the description box and actually look at it to try to find and see people's timestamps. So just made it a little easier for viewers, basically. If you know how to use a timestamp, then this should be obvious. But put time codes or a timestamp in your description box in your specific video. The first timestamp has to start at zero seconds. The second thing is every timestamp has to be at least 10 seconds apart from each other. And then the third thing is you got to have at least three timestamps. If you do all three of those, you'll have video chapters on your videos. And that's it. There's a couple of different things that you want to make sure that you don't do as well because it might mess with the video chapters. So the first thing I got to say is if you have any other time codes up there, for example, like if you have several different portions of music and you have a time code for all those, get rid of the time codes for those bits of music because that's going to clash with what you have for trying to make the video chapters with the titles. Make sure you have the time code, the title, and then nothing else on the line to just ensure that nothing else is going to mess with accidentally being the title or anything like that. You want to make sure that every time code is in order. So don't have one start off at zero seconds. The second one be a minute and then the third one be at 30 seconds. Make sure it's at zero seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, so on and so forth. So with all that being said, do you even want to use video chapters? Because of course, if you're letting people go directly to what they want to see, then they're skipping over portions of the video, which you're missing out on watch time, which might end up messing up your retention time as well. That is going to be up to you. So I can't really give you a yes or a no on that one. And yeah, just roll with your gut. But I would say if you're on the fence, just give it a shot and then see how it goes for you. But whether or not this is useful to you, I'm sure you'll be able to figure that out. So hopefully this information was useful to you. And if it was, why don't you go ahead, like, comment. And as far as commenting, let me know what you think of video chapters in general. Do you think they're a good idea? Do you think they're stupid? Or do you think they're a good idea and you like them, but you wouldn't use them for your channel? Let me know that in the description box below. And also, hey, why don't you subscribe to the channel because I do tips like this all the time. Also, check out the YouTube help desk playlist. You can check out my other YouTube playlists, like how to monetize on YouTube, how to gain views on YouTube, how to gain subscribers on YouTube. I got a couple of them up there. Check them out. And as always, thanks for watching.